All right, welcome to the final lesson where we get to test out our code. So I've gone ahead and started up my server again. If you haven't done it, please go ahead and do that. Just before we submit our form, I do want to um, draw your attention to something. I noticed I'm missing an import here for our server action. Um, if you're not missing it, don't worry about it, but I'm going to edit for myself. So import uh, add, oops, add registration. Okay, save that. Okay, let's go back and let's try submitting uh, registration here. I'm going to open the console in case we have any errors. So I'm going to say John Doe, a bunch of eights for the phone number. Let's do a hotmail and we're going to say one spot. Okay, so let's click register. We have processing and there we go. We have a success message. So that's a good sign. So let's check our um, spreadsheet and we can see we have our registration. So we have our uh, current date and time, the event name, the person who registered, phone number, email and the number of spots. So that's looking really good. Let's uh, try another one just in case. So I'm going to refresh. Let's say um, Claire Banks. Uh, let's do some fives for the phone number. And here we're going to say two spots. Register. All right, another success message. And if you look in here, we have our second registration. Perfect. So that's looking good. Let's just try out our error message. So let's um, change something in our code just to cause an error to happen. I think I'm going to um, just remove a character from my uh, URL here, the endpoint URL. So I'm going to remove the C here. Let's save that. Okay, and let's try again. So refresh. I'm going to say Peter Morris. Okay, and we are expecting to see an error here. So let's see if that happens. There we go. So that's our a generic error message. Oops, there was a problem with your registration. Perfect. So all our errors and success messages are properly displaying, which is great. Um, I think that's it. I think we're all done. We've achieved our objective. I hope uh, you've learned something useful from this tutorial. If you do have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to write them in the comments to the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.